Casey here with 911 Motorsports. And in this video, we are gonna be making a triangulation tube because we are in the middle of doing this tube bumper build on the Bronco and getting towards the end. One of the last steps is going to be adding some triangulation support to this bumper because in the event this thing takes a good hard hit, it's gonna be bending fairly easy. But adding a tube like this is gonna significantly increase the structure of it. The other thing about this is I'm gonna put a bend in it here so it has some clearance for the tire. The other benefit of this bend is that in the event of a hit, it's gonna be more likely to bend, to further bend this tube right here rather than bending the frame. So that's another benefit of doing this. And so we've got our tube pretty much, you know, kind of roughly set up. Now is the time to figure out exactly how it's gonna fit in the vehicle. And basically just start by putting this in place and tweaking. I want, I got a 45 over here and I kind of just want a nice 45 that gives me a nice angle there. This part here, I want to be level uh, just cause that's going to look nice. And then it's going to come up over here to this tube. want to come down a little bit more. I'm liking that I think is looking pretty good. Then miter is clocked to match the frame then it's nice and level right here and then this bend comes up over to here and this cope is clocked real nice on the tube so that is now exactly what i want to be making the next step is going to be to transfer this over to the final tube now first step is to figure out what our bend angle is just using a protractor here looks like 30 degrees is our bend angle we got our we got our tube bent here and the next step is going to be to set our jig on top to figure out where the ends are going to be going this side here i uh, just using a speed square and then we can transfer that to the tube just like that so there's our end cut and we'll do we'll mark our end cut of this one over here too so that guy right there, there's our end. Then the next is gonna be the distance to our cope, which is uh, about 5 16 of an inch there. So we'll mark our same 5 16 This is gonna be our, um, that's gonna be to our cope. Then since we're over here, we'll figure out rotation. And this is where there's a couple ways of doing it. We got this little rotation checker and you can stick that in there to then find that 18 degrees and then for our cope I'll want to actually come over on the far side and measure because this is where our cope's actually going to be starting here so same 18 actually this is where I like to have this so 18 degrees this way so we need to go 18 degrees like that there 18 degrees so this is now I can mark that's where my cope's actually there's the zero degree on my cope there. So that's the cope is all marked out. Now we need to do the 45. And in order to do the 45, we can shortcut this by just, uh, just using our angle cube and aligning it to, that, to this center mark right here. So we're say 13 degrees over here. And then we'll find our same 13 degree number out there. And here is the rotation of this guy. Now to transfer the 45 to the tube, you could one, one easy thing to do is to take our tube master here. And if you just set this over the end and first clock align, align the, the notch to the, to the gap, and then just push this guy, all these needles down until it fits good, form that. And so that is now our profile all ready to go. And then we'll slide this off and put it over our tube here and we'll align. This is our, the end and our notch. And now we can transfer this profile to the tube as well. So we know that's where that 45 is gonna be going here. Okay, so now both of these are ready to go. We'll 
do our square end cuts or we'll do our square cut and our 45 and notch it and then see how the tube fits. Tracing this profile around is, is good when you're using a, a bandsaw or sawzall to cut this, but I'm gonna use a chop saw and show you another method to do this. And what I like to do is just align this gauge with my zero, that's, that's my zero degree mark basically. And then I can make sure that's level and it'll, and then that way this has got the right rotation on it. And so now I'm just holding this rotation and this is when I can use that profile and then make the cut. That's why I like chop saws, they're just so quick and square, as long as you start outright. Okay, the next, next on the list, do our square end cut for the... There's our square cut for the coat. Transfer transferring this mark over to where the cope's actually going to start and then in our notcher here there's our start mark and the i've got a zero degree rotation mark on here so that's just makes it real easy to align to align those two and that's where i need to make my cope Okay, there's our cope all done. Deburr. Now, we go back and see how it fits in the vehicle. So, just like this. Centered, level, and there you go. That's how nice and easy it is to make a tube when you have the jig to copy. Now that this thing's fitting good, we need to tack it in place. And so got a, one of our tube holders over here and a stand over here. So that way I can make sure it's get that final fit on it. Okay, there, that's basically where it needs to be. And there we go. Another tube bites the dust. Uh, so that's about the end of this video. Uh, make sure to go check out our other videos where you can see us doing the rest of the tube work on this Bronco. If you like the video, make sure to like it. If you have any questions or feedback, uh, add a comment below and make sure to subscribe so that way you can stay up to speed with 911 Motorsports.